Hello everyone and welcome back to my colonization series in Kerbal Space Program 1.2.2. In this episode we're going to continue with our little rescue mission and try and grab the podmaster that's coming back around here and you can see I've already plotted the maneuvers for this. First we're going to burn out to that apoapsis and then we're going to tilt our orbit and so that we can match the plane that the podmaster is coming into. We are currently off by about 15 degrees but we'll get to 0.1 degrees and that'll cost us about 84 meters per second and that's why we're boosting out first is to make that inclination change maneuver easier and then after that we're going to pull our orbit in just a little bit uh, from there to there to make sure that we can get this particular intersection point of 1.7 kilometers. Our relative speed will be 544 meters, uh, 544 meters per second and so that's quite a bit off. Um, yeah, but we do have the delta V for it, so that's the good part. Uh, yep, that should be in time so that they don't, uh, don't dislike, have, well, okay, maybe it's not in time. Uh, they've got uh, six days before they don't consider that a home and this intersection points is in, is in six days and two hours it looks like. That's funny, I thought we had plotted an intersection over here somewhere with the transfer pod launch and that was closer in time. I don't understand. But okay, uh, let's just do this and we'll try and grab them. I don't know what happens when they don't consider it a home anymore. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Actually, the relative inclination is 17 degrees, not 15. Okay, so we will proceed with this. First burn is in three minutes. We couldn't really burn any higher than uh, what we've got there because otherwise we get a moon encounter. You can actually see right now the moon is right there and usually when it's just rising above the horizon of Kerbin that's when you transfer to the moon so you know it's about the right transfer window for the moon here. Altogether this is looking good I just hope that it actually fulfills its intended mission. Okay, well, hopefully that'll be close enough. Let's get out there. Well, that maneuver is obviously wrong now. Okay, should be close enough. And then another maneuver to get the timing right. So we're going to pull it in and get the encounter there. Our delicate ballet continues. Um, okay, uh, no, 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 don't go around, don't go around. Mike Jeb still says we have a 121 kilometer difference there. So hold on a sec. And actually a 1.5 degree relative inclination, which I was not expecting. Okay, we are one minute before the encounter. There it is, 40 kilometers away. And coming in fast. We may want to turn faster than this, come on. Looks like the target will pass us, so not the ideal timing here. Well, our apoapsis is getting really high, actually. Let's do that first. Uh, I think we're pretty much on escape right now. Yep, we're on escape. Let's, um, but I want to handle this before Podmaster, not Podmaster, the other, what did I call it, Transfer Pod Launch has to meet up with it. Doesn't look like that's, this is happening very quickly. Maybe I should force this. 
But it's not like this vehicle can accelerate and decelerate very quickly. I don't really see where the transfer pod launch is supposed to do its thing. It might miss it, I don't know. I might have... I probably should have put an alarm for when it's supposed to do its rendezvous. Okay, well, we're now going to head in with RCS. I don't know where it's docking port ended up. Um, well, it's pretty much pointed at us. Look how big the Minimus Cycler, Minimus Cycler is. But yeah, its docking port is basically pointing at us, so that's convenient. Um... If we could just turn to point at the docking port now. Still can't quite select the docking port. Well, let's make sure we're controlling from here. Uh, oh, they've returned to duty because we're within range. We're within the 150 meter range. Okay, well that could make things easier. Gotta remember that, that as long as it's within 150 meters, they'll get back to work. So you guys are on duty? Well, why don't you... See, I can't even right-click... Oh, there we go. Wait. There we go. Set as target. Um, just uh, point at it, point at it. Okay, turn that off. Okay. Make sure you're controlling from there. All right. But I can't uh, click on the docking port from here, so that's annoying. Let's see. Yeah, this is quite a scale of things, isn't it? They'll definitely have a lot more living room in this vehicle. Okay, not too much mop propellant used. Panel orientation's a little bit off, but we can make do. It looks good. And how are they settled in? Um, why is colonization three base expired as far as HAB for those guys? Um, I mean they're within a hundred and fifty meters of colonization one base that that's the reactor this is the base they should be sharing habitability i anyway uh this mimic cycler they're hab for 27 days home for 19 which is weird i haven't seen it reversed like that usually the home is for longer than the hab but in this case um it's reversed that should be enough time to get over to Minmus. Well, that depends, because we have to sort of wait for Minmus to come around again, right? And we have to make adjustments to make sure that we hit it. We really don't want to sort of shift this. We can't do that. It would take too much delta V. Anyway, let's take a look at the transfer pod launch and see if we can have that meet up with this, or whether that's even a good idea. Maybe we should have the the guys in the Alcor pod move into the inflatable module on the Minmus Cycler. Maybe that'll improve their home stat. Okay, um, I thought we had a nice encounter all lined up here, but it doesn't look like it. I think we missed that opportunity. So we're going to have to angle for some other opportunity. We're over here right now. Okay, well, this is a heck of a trajectory. Uh, 0.5 kilometers is a separation there if we do this, and we'll have a relative speed of 127.5. But we have to go... Well, we're going to wait a whole orbit, so it's going to take a little bit more to catch up to it, basically. Uh, we have the Delta V, but yeah, it's a dodgy business. We'll try it. It's sure interesting. That's a heck of a way to go. We're ca trying to catch it over here. Okay, interesting sort of 
maneuver. Here we go. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to get closer than 2.9. Uh, maybe if I turn caps lock on and use the mop pellet. Uh, then we can get to 1.4 kilometers. Okay. We'll take that. Oh, I should probably turn the RCS off right now. Shouldn't take too long to match speeds. Okay, that's pretty close. Look at that huge thing. Okay, maybe we should RCS this and control from here. We're coming in from the wrong side. I'd like the whole thing to flip around over there. Uh, wrong way. RCS please. Sigmor refuses to work. Uh oh. Quickly. This is. Uh, he just got over and he refuses to work? Oh boy. Yeah, okay. Negative relative velocity. RCS. I need to emergency avoid Sigmor here. Okay, that should be a start. Just park it there. Stop using the RCS all over the place. I don't know what Sigmar is doing. Okay. Really, Sigmar? Hab expired. Just as, I mean, because we got into range of this? Yeah, I can't control him anymore. We're gonna have to get the Mimicycler to dock with him. That's weird. Well. We do what we gotta do. Whoa, whoa, okay. Stop smart ASSing when you're not supposed to be able to control the thing. I can't turn RCS off. Um, I can't turn SAS on. Just kill rotation if uh, Smart ASS can work, huh? Uh, you know what? If Smart ASS can work, um, go that way. It'll make us e make it all easier. Okay. And why don't we have caps lock on over here? Uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Control from here. Oh, jeez. See, uh, when I control from here, when I change anything, that changes. I don't like that. Okay. Um, speaking of which, uh, over in the other craft, just kill rotation. Just don't do anything to, uh, with reference to me, please. Okay, we have, uh, yep, gone docked. Now, uh, he's returned to duty, and everybody is okay, finally. Sigmar's got extra home on there. Everybody else has uh, 32 days of habitability, 38 days of home ability, hominess, something like that. Uh, 34 days of supplies, so it really doesn't matter. We're talking about, let's say, 30 days. Um, let's see what kind of Minmus encounter we can arrange for in that time. Okay, well our situation is not as tight as I made it seem. It turns out that I've forgotten to stop, uh, not stop, start habitat here. And so after starting the habitat inside the inflatable, we see that we've got one year and 177 days of hab and a year and 162 days of home. Though still, uh, 28 days of supplies, but I haven't actually started this module, the Nomomatic. 
So what happens if I start agroponics? We've got the fertilizer. Um, it doesn't change these numbers, but presumably we will get some some supplies from that, and we've got room for supplies, plenty of room for for the supplies after all. Um, about a thousand six hundred, we could fill up there. Well, it added a point oh one right there, just there. How much do they need? Uh, it says uh, forty three point two per day for the four of them. Well, I guess, uh, I mean, I could, of course, check inside the VAB, but let's, um, let's start at, uh, 254. I guess we can guarantee at least 0 .1, 0 0.015 supplies were made in that minute. Okay, calculator out. I don't know how much mulch and fertilizer was consumed, though, but that means 0.9 per hour and we only have six hour days 5.4 per day so that's about maybe 10 percent that conservatively let's just say 10 percent of our consumption not great I have to say I wonder if transferring crew in no crew on part uh, okay well how about transferring crew to it Um, I don't know who would be most useful. Okay, Randall Kerman's in the Nomomatic now. He's a scientist. It says wear here. So these Nomomatics have wear and tear? It doesn't seem, I don't think Randall's going to improve the productivity of this. This is a 100% load anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's not particularly producing any faster. We need some sort of proper recycler, but this should be pretty good. I don't know, is there any other modules on here that could help? Nope, I think that's about it. So, yeah, supplies are a concern. 28 days we're looking at. Let's just say that, even though we're making some supplies. Uh, what I've got plotted here is a boost out to this orbit here. Okay, and then the encounter that we get from that is this 29-day encounter. So that would outstrip our supplies, assuming that our supplies are what we see here which may or not may or may not be the case yeah tough to say so another one of those close calls electric charge should be fine we've got huge solar panels on this well let's try it so of course I've turned off all the engines except for the nuclear ones here and we will assume that uh, the thrust of the nuclear engines will not damage our pod launch craft yep okay here we go it looks like the plumes clear it right right I've also shut off the fuel in the pod launch craft so that it doesn't draw from it otherwise the liquid fuel and oxidizer will become imbalanced I can replenish the fuel on the Alcor pod if we need to. Okay, that's probably a minimum. 800 kilometers. We'll deal with that. And it says uh, 641 kilometers there. So something wrong around those lines. Supply consumption. Oh, something is else. Oh, I think we have another mission to take care of. Okay, well, let's add an alarm for this one. SOI change. Moho scanner. We need to deal with its maneuver. Jump to ship. This is an inclination change, I suppose, to try and hit Moho. Obviously not the best thing to do, but in this case was unavoidable. You don't really want to do an inclination change this close to the sun.
Okay, separation. And ignition. Signal strength is a little bit weak, huh? We've only got this one dish over here and it's clipping the solar panel right now. I doubt that that has an effect on our signal strength, but it just doesn't. Surprised by the lack of biometric data. Okay, well. Okay, scanning high over the sun doesn't help. Log temperature? We could get a little bit of that. Measuring the temperature of space appears to be quite impossible. Don't know about that. The temperature of space is actually quite interesting. Okay, transmit the data. Visual observations. 12 signs for that. Still bright. Yeah, I don't know why a multi-spectral imaging platform is dependent on biometric data and doesn't give us any any science. I mean, we do have multi-spectral imaging on the sun. That's a thing we do. Oh, that's a pretty close approach. I like that approach. Uh, let's lift it up a bit. I don't mind a polar orbit because we are doing scanning. Okay, that's uh, that, that looks pretty good. Let's see how much it's going to take to get into orbit around Moho now. Yeah, we have enough. We're good. Alright. And do we have a contract for this whole Moho thing? New Surface Outpost of Mimus is the only contract we have. So it's just to uh, scan for resources. And get some science. Okay. Well, it's on its way. I hope we maintain communication well. I mean, right now we're pretty close to Kerbin and it's already in the yellow here. Signal strength, uh, 64%. It'll be really stretched by the time we get there. So I think that's the only worry for us. Let's hop back to the Minmus cycle. Oh, let's add an alarm for this for SOI change and then hop back to the Minmus cycler. Okay, we are now approaching our encounter with Minmus here. And we'll check our supplies once we get into Minmus SOI. We were supposed to run out, remember, and so we will assess the Nomomatic in this case. Okay, we are now in Minmus SOI. Well, it looks like we have 19 days left, so we had 28 days, and it basically took 29 days to get here, and we only consumed 9 days worth. So, that's good. Um, I don't know how that exactly shakes out, I'll have to do the math separately, but let's focus on what we are doing right now. Which is trying to get into orbit, and trying to get the Alcor pod back to the base. Let's get closer to Minmus first. I guess I'll just turn it myself. Okay, that should be pretty good. 55 kilometers is fine. Maybe a bit high. Well, let's get a little bit closer. This is Minmus after all. And we're not scanning for anything. Okay, uh, let's focus on Minmus without clicking any warp to handle. It doesn't take too much to get into orbit around Minmus because, if you recall, we already boosted our orbit to something fairly close to Minmus's orbit. Oh, zoomed too far out. Um, yeah, anyway, we can't see that orbit anymore. But uh, only 69 meters per second is necessary. And that's our base. Uh, we'll, we'll figure that out with the Alcor pod. I'm sure, I'm sure it's not going to take too much delta V around Minmus to correct inclination and just directly hit the base. Another day until the node. Uh, we've got 19 days of supplies, so that's fine. And plenty of habitability. I hope that when we let go of the Alcor pod, it's not going to... Hmm, you know, lose habitability. Maybe it'd be better if uh, we don't have everybody in there at once. How many people do we actually have to land at our facility? 
two scientists at the outpost is all. But then without a pilot, we won't be able to control the Alcor pod properly at all. Mm. I don't know, maybe uh, for the one day, maybe we should shift them into the habitat. I don't know if that resets anything. I hope so. I mean, would it mean that they never want to be in the Alcor pod again? Now that they've spent so much time in it? I don't know. I have to say, it says 18 days, but I swear our supplies have gone down more than halfway. We had, uh, we had 600 supplies before. Now we have 170. So I don't know about the supply rating here. Oh, so we've got uh, consumption of a quarter of our fertilizer. Mulch. Mulch just gets replenished, doesn't it? No need to worry about mulch. What we should have done was started the nomadic beforehand while we were doing all the rendezvous stuff. Then it would have had uh, some supplies already. Okay, tight orbit. Oh, geez. We just got into orbit. Uh, 32 by, call it 30. Maybe 33 by 30. But Greg Bro, Melemony, and... And... Randall, I think, said they refused to work. Habitability expired. Just as we got into orbit. What is it about Minmus? I mean, uh, we, they had huge habitability before. We get into orbit around Minmus. This is the ha expandable habitat. This is the thing that gave the extra year or so. And then suddenly, no go. Sigmore is only down to two hours now. Well, electric charge goes down, they refuse to work, yeah. I guess that makes some sense. I guess maybe it's electric charge. Well, if it's if it's electric charge, then I'm I'm not too angry about it. That's just uh, down to our orientation. Okay. Well, all right. There's the base. Let's get the Alcor pod underway and hope that. Randall needs to go back in. I uh, hope that uh, everything is all right. On dock. Well, we're still in range of this, so we can't really tell yet. Let's see when we get 150 meters away. We've got plenty of Delta V to land, that's not a problem. We are now 150 meters away, though I don't know. Okay, it looks like it's down to 7 days of hab habitability now. That's fine. That we can deal with. Okay, well, in that knowledge, we can make for a landing. Are we going to get to do this finally? Let's find out. Just for the heck of it, Mac Jet Blinding Guidance. I I think it's probably gotta be more confusing than necessary. Let's see. I obviously don't want to land on this side of the base. Uh oh, I uh, refuse to work and return to duty. What the heck was that about, Rodsby? Okay, now we're getting into a nice tight distance with our base. 150 meters being the now standard desirable distance. Okay, we're down. Okay, ladder. Uh, 
Habitability now back up to 121 days. Supply's not so great though. Hmm. We might have to do a quick resupply of the base. We'll see. Maybe, uh, but I don't think its facilities have been activated. Okay. Uh, oh, we've got an engineer, a scientist, and a scientist. We didn't even have a pilot on here. Okay. Well, oh yeah, that's because we uh, we actually wanted to take care of that decoupler, right? Well, so let's get the engineer out first to take care of that decoupler at the bottom of the base. That's so annoying. Well, we've got a science lab, and, and well, that's a habitat. I, maybe if we activate that, we'll be better off on our supplies than it seems. I'm going to get rid of this decoupler here. Okay, disassemble pod. Okay, I think that's a hundred uh, units of material kits were lost. Well, darn it. We really need some way of containing those when we do that. But anyway, he can uh, enter now, right? Right? There's a door right there. It's a crew hatch. Oh, well. Okay, grab. Uh, the hatches aren't really big enough for the Kerbals, I have to say. I mean, in width, their heads. Anyway, let's get him in before he slides down. Okay, um... Set the base down properly instead of floating above on its landing gears. Oh, Rodsby's in here. Now, Rodsby, why did you decide not to... Why did you decide to stop working, huh? That was confusing. Rob, Rodsby only has 55 days of habitability. The Lemony, who just joined Rodsby, has 123. Still, uh, supplies are an issue. Okay, but to fulfill the contract, we need our two uh, scientists on here. So let's transfer them. Uh, can we... Well, this has already started habitat. So maybe we have more supplies than we think we do. We do have a lot of fertilizer. It doesn't seem to have been converted to anything, though. Right? I mean, otherwise it'd be depleted. And all this time. Okay, and... Looks like the only hatch on the science lab is at the top. Okay. Grab. Board. Cannot board a full module. Ah. Uh, there's nobody in there. Well, okay. Hold on. Uh, oh, I should have left you up there, though. I think it needs to be deployed, maybe. Um, deploy. And this doesn't need material kits to deploy, thankfully. Okay. Now, Randall. Oh, you can use that door there, maybe. Still, it's not quite the right size. Okay, deployed, we've got crew. Where is already 0.1%? Anyway, uh, start converter? Start life support? Start research. Do all the things. Well, it's got a converter and life support, that's nice. Level up crew. Oh, no new experience for Randall. Interesting. Let's get uh, our second scientist in so that we can fill the contract. Greg Bro. Okay, two scientists. Maintain stability for 10 seconds. And we've done it. We have fulfilled that contract. Our only extant contract. It looks like it'd be a good thing to go back to Space Center and take a look at our remaining contract. Uh, uh, what contracts are available, I mean. But we do have to resupply this soon. 25 days is what they have left. And then Sigma Kerman on the Minimus Cycle is 27 days, though, again, with the recycling, I'm not entirely sure that's reasonable. Though, habitability in home is really highly rated, except uh, when power is lost, of course. Okay, so let's see what we might be able to do next time. Science Day from Space around Minimus. 
Uh, sure. I think we could just get somebody to pop out and do some EVA science. We haven't done much of that. Um, Orbital Survey of Duna. We could go for that. It's really complicated. But we have a Duna transfer window in about 111 days. And that's giving us 9 years. So sure, why not? Part testing. Eh. Long-term orbital reconnaissance survey of Minmus. I K. Um. Oh, uh, little brother surveillance camera is what they want there. I think we can manage that. We might be able to put it in a pack with our resupply mission. Seems reasonably lucrative. Um, no, we don't want to rescue a component just yet. Uh, we should build a space shuttle for that sort of thing. Satellite in synchronous orbit of Minmus. Okay, well, we can combine that with our little brother experiment thing. This wants a low orbit, but we can start out in this high synchronous orbit and then move it down to this one. But it wants, yeah, this one it wants it to be in there for 65 days, so we'll have to start out on this one, get it to the proper orbit. This only requires it to be in that orbit for 10 seconds. So, yeah, uh, this combined with the other Minmus satellite would be good. Biome scan of the body, we don't need to worry about tourism. Tourists. I, I don't like tourists. We, we have enough with uh, our Kerbals turning into tourists. It's a shame we don't have anything for Jewel, though. Yeah. I mean, because the next transfer window is actually for Jewel. 66 days. We might have to put together a Jewel mission sort of on our own dime because nobody wants to give us a contract for it. We'll see. All right. Anyway, on that note, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.